I'm passionate about love subjects, but do you see me start shouting and screaming? Yes, he's your boy, Mr. CV. Ah. Now the lighting is about to get dark, so I'm gonna try and make the video as uh, quick as possible. What I wanted to address is this waffling that goes on in the internet that people call it in the name of podcasting. Now, I might fall into that category as well because to be honest with you, obviously I do a bit of videos myself and I talk as well. But the issue I have with people is, look, you can say what you want, but the issue I have with people is people trying to impose it onto other people and make it as if it's the truth. Now, any videos that I do, obviously it's just based on a lot of things that I've seen myself, obviously I've been part of, I do myself. So obviously don't take everything I say as the truth because there is no truth to be honest with you. The truth is only visible to you and what you believe in. And a lot of people due to the environment they've grown up in, due to things they've seen, they attach that as their way of life, as the truth to them. But that doesn't mean they're correct. Because I see so many things on the internet like this internet actually is a dangerous place. As good as it is, it's actually a dangerous place because there's so many things. People now these days, especially these younger generation, they hear something or they see something, they save it on their phone. And then when a little argument comes in, they bring that out and say, oh yeah, this person said this, so it must be right. No, it's not. It's not correct. There could be elements of it that could be true, but that doesn't mean that's the truth. Let me explain that again. There could be elements of it. So parts of it could be true, but that doesn't mean that's ultimately the truth. That's 100% correct, no. Because this generation especially, they just follow. Oh, this person said this. They don't think, think, think for yourself. If God has given you a brain to think, think for yourself. These, these generation now, they can't decipher things. And I'm not even surprised, like, because obviously when you hear countries such as like, countries that censor things and sometimes obviously I don't agree with censorship to be honest with you because obviously I feel people should be free to say what they want but when I see certain things on the internet I'm thinking you know what I don't blame some of these countries for having censorship to be honest with you because some of people that some things that you just say like or just come up with the internet like I get it I get it people want to say rash People want to say the most out of the box things just because it creates news, it creates noise, it, it gets them views, it gets them popular. That's fine. That's if that's what you do, that's fine. But it's like some comments, some things I hear, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? Just, just keep quiet, man. Like, you know what it is as well. The reason why I wanted to even address this is because due to this podcasting because people now people have people have crazy ideas that they had in their in their house in their rooms whatever they have it but because of this podcasting is allowed them to be free to express their ideas their, their some ideas that are so alien is allowed them to express them is giving them the freedom to say oh yeah I can say what I want because I'm in the name of podcasting. I remember a while ago someone actually said to me, because my sister, my sister is at uni, she finished uni like I think two years ago. And I remember one someone I know actually was saying, ah, oh, um, you should go and teach your sister how to cook or tell your sister to learn how to cook. And I'm thinking, wait, hold on, hold on. In this 21st century, hold on. So my sister went to uni for three years. You should just leave her ambition, leave her.